Hello there, I am Giant Kvo with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on a little tour of Veilstone City, explored uh, Veilstone City, realized that Team Galactic had a warehouse and a uh, building in Veilstone City, and then Dawn looked pretty worried when we were talking to her in the last part. So I'll have to see if we can resolve that after we take on the gym, I guess. So, what I have, I have um, Karen up front, and I also have Bronze as holding the experience here. Um, because I had a I had a recording that didn't go so well, honestly. So because Bronze uh, special, let me look at its, its, its special attack. Yeah, its special attack is 19. Jeez, yeah, that's why it's not really doing so well with the um, psychic type moves, I guess. So he has because so it has the experience share on itself. So what I usually do. When I take on this gym, is I take on the four karate black belt dudes first, and then I do the puzzle. So let's just do that. We are the karate quads. I will strike a blow for tears with my fist. Hiya, tears. Okay, so Bronze grew level 26 in that battle, however, I didn't want him to learn. I didn't want it to learn, because I keep on figuring Bronze War is genderless. I, f I didn't want it to learn uh, Iron Defense, so yeah, it's level 26. So now I'm going to give the experience to share to um, uh, Jetta, because it is listed level 25. So take and get item, give, experience share. There it is, nice. So, and I can also give back the audience since, um, Bronze War. Yeah. And yeah. So Karen also good level 27, by the way, too. Okay, so let's take on this black belt, dude. We're the Quaddy Quads. I will strike a blow for courage with my fist. Hiya, courage. They're saying, like, different keywords. I realized that, you know, it doesn't help that my two super effective Pokemon would be that are good for this gym and have the type advantage are um, also weak to fighting type moves, so that makes them um, neutral. For example, uh, Karen is dark fire fighting type, dark flying type, so uh, it's super effective because it's flying type move, wing attack, but since it's half dark type and, fire, and fighting is super effective against dark type Pokemon, uh, it's neutral then like it does. It's not super effective. It's not not very effective. It's neutral same with um Bronzo. He's uh, it is steel psychic types and steel is uh, Fighting is super effective against steel type Pokemon. So again, that's neutral. It's not super effective or not very effective So that really doesn't help, but we'll keep on trucking. I guess Here's the third quad quad dude with the quad quads, I will strike a bow for hope with my fist. Hiya, hope! And finally, I didn't even push that to the right, sorry. Um, we'll take on the fourth quad quad. We are the quad quads. I will strike a blow for love with my fist. Hiya, love!
what? Oh, look, Breeze was evolving. Nice. Awesome. And I, I, I caught me off guard how, uh, uh, how, uh, my, um, how Inferno kind of fainted in the last battle because I was not looking at my uh, DS screen at the time. So I missed it, you know. But Jetta evolved into Forza, which is awesome. My first Pokemon to reach, uh, it's final evolution stage. That's pretty cool. Ooh, once I crunch. That's a great move. It's a great dark type move. Should we should be delayed? Yes, of course. Let's get rid of, um... Well, Swift is 60 and Pursuit's only 40. And Crunch is 80. So... I might want to give it a Pursuit, actually. I'll do that. 1, 2, and poof. Jetta for yet? How do you use... How do you use Pursuit? And Jetta learned Crunch. So I thought that, uh, I had a feeling that, uh, you know, Breeze evolved at level 26, but I wasn't sure. I know it was like in the mid 20s, but I wasn't exactly sure what level. Uh, my Pokemon need a healing at the Pokemon Center to be healed at the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna be going, uh, to the Pokemon Center, of course. So I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to get through this puzzle. I always work from left to right. I find it the easiest way to, you know, complete this puzzle. So move this one right here. And then you want to... Uh, I think you want to move this one over to the left. So you can hit this one to the left. There we go. Nice. And you can move this one back, I guess. A space. There we go. Um, and then we can go up here, around here, and... Oh wait, hold on. Actually, I did that wrong. I, I It's been a while since I've done this puzzle, so... I think I have a general idea, but I'm not... I don't memorize it, you know? Um... Oh wait. Yeah, we want to move over here. It's all coming back to me. There we go. Then we want to move this one. And then we're basically done with the first third on the far left. The reason I say that is because if you look at my screen right here, you can push this one back again. You have to move that one a couple of times. But if you, the path is clear right here to get the first final piece. So right there, you get that, you get that one done and you move it in place, which is awesome. So now, I think you want to, well, you want to move this one right here for a second. And this one. And... Oh wait, I think we have to go around it and stuff, okay. So you want to move this one, and then that way you can actually move this one back. Sorry, I misled you guys there. You want to come back around here and go up here. Of course, never mind. We got right here. Okay, there we go. We have to move that one there. Like, I'm missing these little pieces that like make sure you get through the path. So sorry about that, I do apologize for that. And yeah, we can go around here, up around here, and I'll move our second piece in place. And it should be complete now. So if you can go straight down the middle, you've done it correctly. So, it's really not too hard. The first time I played this game, of course it was hard because I'd never seen it before, but now it's like a breeze. And then here we are at, at uh, Maylene, the gym leader. So yeah, I'm going to start with Micro. Micro's up, up the front. So let's talk to her. Hello, pleased to meet you. I am Maylene, at the, and I, I am the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how to be a, the gym leader, but I will be, I will do my best, do the best I can as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. Okay, here's Marlene. I remember her from the anime. She was very, uh, not confident in herself, but then eventually she did get, gain confidence, and that was really cool. She, she's not really confident here, but we have to battle her. She, she's still the gym waiter, you know? She hasn't been the gym waiter here for long, just like in the anime. So, we just got, we got to give her a good fight, you know? To boost her confidence, you know? Saying that, hey, you can, I can be a gym waiter. I can do this, you know? Defeat is what... Defeat can make uh, her learn from her mistakes or help her improve, you know? So that's pretty cool. So, Ken's level 28 now. Jeez. Okay, my choke. Um, I'm gonna stay in actually. Stay, in, Karen. Yeah. There we go. I don't. I don't know if I can get an epic Mirko sweep this time because their last Pokemon's pretty tough. But here's the match choke. Yeah. Brick break. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't think I can get an epic micro sweep this time, but that's okay. My truck will go down the nice. Her last Pokemon's pretty fast and pretty powerful, I'll say that. Yes, it's Lucario, steel fighting type. It's gonna be hard. Well, again, that's why I taught Fire Blast to uh, my, um, Infer to Inferno, you know, because Fire is super effective against Lucario since it's half steel type. So, and then Fire, f a Wing Attack won't do that much. It'd be neutrally effective because steel resists, um, you know, f st steel resists flying type moves and Karen fainted. Okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch to Inferno now. Just so he's out. And ready to go. Okay, um, Fire Blast. Let's hope we hit this thing. It's gonna just force palm on us. It also knows Bone Rash, which I'm scared about because it's a ground type move. She said it did half HP. Well, Lukoya is level 30, I guess, so. Yeah. And Inferno is just level 26. Oh, that was almost enough to faint it. Not quite, but almost. Okay, you said she's very okay, cool. If I can land another flamethrower, but I think it'll outspeed me, but I'm gonna try. Uh, not another flamethrower, but another fire blast. You know, that'd be great. Okay, fire, force bomb's gonna faint. Inferno, okay. Thank you, Inferno. You always weakened it and got it's activated Citrus Berry. Okay. So, let me go to Jetta next. Our newly evolved Futsal. Okay. Um. I want to see how much a crunch does. I don't think it'll. It might do half of it, uh, its HP, remaining HP. Who it didn't do much at all. That's not very effective. Yeah, that's what I'm scared about. He's medical. Okay. Okay. There we go. We got this. Aqua Jet. One more Aqua Jet should do it, but she's probably gonna heal now, which kind of stinks. It really kind of stinks. Oh, you're gonna use your hyper potion. This isn't good. At this point, I'm gonna have to throw out a decoy or something, you know? Because this Lucario is tough. I, I was so lucky uh, in po my original Pokemon Diamond walkthrough guide that. Shoot. That, um. My Ponyta, my Fireball, or whatever, um, she, he burned it, so I cut its H, its um, attack stat in half, you know? Okay, I'm gonna send out a decoy at Becky. I'm gonna revive Inferno. But, I don't wanna do this, but I just, it looks like I have to. I have two revives, I'm gonna use one of them. Not Karen, not Karen! I didn't mean to revive Karen. Ah, ah! Shoot, not Karen. <laughs> okay, I have Karen revive now. I can use my other revive on uh, Inferno now. My mistake, I misclicked. Oh boy. Okay, so Bronze War is gonna be our decoy now because I don't want I don't want Rose to faint. I know I I realize that Rose is still a Badoo and it's level 26 and it should be a Rosalia by now and I have I haven't let it fainted really at all if I can remember all that I remember so I'll we'll have to see about that you know but for right now I'm gonna have to use a revive on Inferno I have to buy a couple more revives at the department store actually now that I just yeah waste uh, accidentally used one by mistake when I didn't want to on that certain Pokemon. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a Moomoo Milk. Yep, a Moomoo Milk on Inferno. I could use a Super Potion. Yeah, I could use a Super Potion. Dang it. What a waste of a Moomoo Milk. Oh well, that's okay. I forgot. Moomoo Milk only has 100 HP. So my mistake. And then I guess I'm gonna, for backup, I'm gonna rest uh, restore. Um, Karen's HP with a super potion. Yeah. So Bronzoi, you did a really good sacrifice, I guess. So I tip my hat off to you. 
Okay, let's see here. Let's go to Inferno then, yeah. I could have gone to uh, Karen first, but you know. Oh well. Let's get a strain punch, okay. Okay, hold on. Yes, it hit, okay. Is a super potion then, and hopefully this will be good. Hopefully it doesn't use Drain Punch again. Oh, I gave myself more HP to uh, for to drain if it did use Drain Punch, but luckily it didn't use Drain Punch that time. Oh, paralysis. Ah, oh, that's just not good. I don't think. Yeah, I'm definitely not faster than it. Oh no. Okay, this is bad, this is real bad. Wing attack I guess, and a claw missed, okay good. And I don't remember this battle being so tough, but I can, I get, I can understand now why. Let's just one more wing attack, hopefully, yes you didn't use a you didn't use a super potion or a hip potion or anything, so that's good. Okay, so it's really good that I actually revived both my Pokemon, so that's awesome. I take everything I said back that was like complaining about it, you know? That was a tough fight. I was afraid I wasn't gonna win. Yeah, I'm carrying good at level 29. Nice. Okay, I shall admit defeat you. Are much, you are much too strong. Thanks for the, the, the 3,600 pocket dollars, mainly, and that's really nice of you. Okay, you win. The real tough loss, I learned a lot from it. That was a tough loss, I learned a lot from it. Yeah, she learned from her mistakes, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, her experience, I should say. Uh, please, accept this gym badge. We got the copper badge from Maylene, awesome. And she also gave her the TM for Drain Punch, which she explains in her dialogue, coming up soon. Um, I should explain about that badge. If you have, if you have that official Pokemon League badge, you can use the hidden move Rock Fly outside a battle. Oh, and take this as well. Obtained TM60, which is T uh, Drain Punch. That TM60 contains the move Drain Punch. Um, the move inflicts damage and rubs and robs the target's HP. Like half of it, all of it, no, half of what's inflicted, I think, is what, is what it is. So yeah. And let's talk to the Vice Giver again. Oh, Steven, you beat in the gym later. Of course, I thought you'd win. Thanks, Vice Giver. I appreciate that. The Veilstone City Gym, uh, Veilstone City Pokemon Gym leader, Maylene. Me so if I train as Sam, Steven. Nice. Okay. So yeah, come out here. I will get Stone again. Hi, Steven. Please, can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident, and Team Galactic found it. Now they want to get it. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. Um, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I was just told I was going to a movie later with my family, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Anyway, now that now they want to give it back, please, I need your help. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come. Okay, why not? I'll help you out, Dawn. I like helping people out when they they need help, you know? It's a nice thing to do and it's the right thing to do. But first, I want to heal up. So, let me do that real quick. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, let's see. Um, Let's see here. Um, let's... I said that twice. Okay, so I want to move, uh, you know, Karen to the back. And yeah, that's about it. Um, my friend can be up to the front, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's go up here to where Dawn said she was, and there she is right now with the Team Galactic Grunts. So yeah, I'm gonna end the part here, right here though. So this has been my Pokemon Diamond 
a redo walks the guide part and next part will take on the team galactic grunts that are took and uh, took don's pokedex and won't give it back to her so this one's gonna go again i would like to mention again goodbye and i'll just see you guys in the next part of my pokemon diamond redo walkthrough guide Thank you.